everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with this uh, Poland-Lithuania Commonwealth playthrough using Darth Mod. We have uh, dealt with Prussia, now we need to deal with the Ottomans that have incurred on our land. Previous fighting against the Ottomans, we, uh, we uh, marched out to um, preemptively strike them. Turned out they had quite a few more troops hidden in the forest that we didn't see, so we were forced to fall back. With the Prussians now destroyed, we are able to focus more forces all down here to the south, uh, but so is the Ottomans, and they've marched up with quite a force. We do not intend to sit and be uh, let them lay siege to us, instead we will march out and defeat them. Hopefully we can free up this army over here and march on the enemy. However, with that said, we have a very long border against Austria at this point. And, I mean, Austria is one of the, those nations that um, partitioned Poland, cut up as into small pieces of cake and served us. So, we want to see possibly making some kind of a deal with them becoming allies. They are allies with the Russians, so I think we could go into an alliance there. And we are at friendly terms with them. Uh, the main detractor is historical grievance back and forth. Um, a little bit from the territorial expansion, 11 minus there. But hopefully we can improve. We are Catholic brothers. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can kind of avoid getting attacked by them, at this point anyways, as I fear the Ottomans have quite the arsenal and quite the manpower to bring to our, to, uh, to our lands. So yeah, uh, first however we need to defeat this first force before we can uh, um, move anywhere against the Ottomans. So with that said we're gonna have um, Kazimir Potoki and his army go ahead and march out and strike down the Ottomans. So they bring about 10,000 men against Potoki's, um, what, 5,000. So they 2 to 1. However, we have cannons, big cannons, compared to those 18 pounders. We have, um, what are the demi cannons? It doesn't actually say what kind. Of, they, they look bigger, anyways, than the 18 pounders. Although I believe the 18 pounders probably got better accuracy. Uh, then we've got some regular troops and stuff like that. It looks good. Uh, I think we also have an advantage in cavalry, which is very nice. With that said, let's draw into battle and send the Ottomans off. So it seems that we would meet the Ottoman force at this town. Uh, I control this side, the north side of the town, while the Ottomans control the south. And there's a slight rain. Very standard formation for what I usually do. We've got cannons in the centers, then the troops on either side. I've put the pikemen in um, kind of phalanx or... Uh, pike wall formation on either side, followed by two regiments of line, and then we'll have the provincial horse and two units of line moving here because we got open ground, and I tend to uh, try and capture this town hall with the militia and kind of just bog down any enemy troops that try to go through here. And, uh, yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and start, shall we? And also, we'll get reinforcement by three regiments of foot. That will be coming somewhere. Over there. By the road. And I think we might want to march up and take this forest with these units. Get up to somewhere there. Cavalry will move out to there, and these guys will move up to join these. As we'll take the high ground over here, and the hope that the enemy will march on towards the cannons. Uh, 
which right now aren't really firing. I'll order them to fire. You know what? There's a better target over there. But it's too late. I guess the cannon shots. Yeah, that would have been a much better target firing over here since we seem to have missed most of this. The Ottoman general is out with the uh, armed populace that he brings. It brings quite a few of these. Oh, he's gonna ride straight into these line regiments if he's not careful. Oh, he's going to ride straight into it. By accident, the Ottoman general finds himself in the middle of the 7th Regiment, the 7th and 10th Regiment, which has taken up the uh, position in the forest to the right of my position. Um, I don't like the fact that these guys are coming a bit too close. So these two cannons will switch to canister. And it looks like the armed populace is uh, content with uh, running straight at the pike wall. And not only running, they like run straight through it to the point where quite a few of them ran to the other side. But look at how the kills start mounting up after a while. The half the unit is dead within seconds, even though they actually pushed through the unit. The Ottoman general uh, was pushed back. Oh, look at that. Kind of missed that. Same time, the militia has moved into the village. Take a position there. Oh, what's going on here? Right, counter charge then. I thought I was going to get three red. Oh, yes, because I don't. We don't have enough room for all of them. It might very well have been that the. Uh okay, all cannons at this point should be firing canister. Building captured. Very nice. I need that cavalry now. You just cut these assholes down. I should have put something behind the cannons. To protect them against head-on charges. The pikemen are doing their bit again. The musket units are doing their part. The cavalry will be moving back and dealing with these, which have now been sent away by by my pikemen, but also by the cannons. These guys on the side haven't really been able to do much. They'll move up on the side. As soon as they get targeted by musket or anything, they drop the pike wall. Seemingly. Back on your guns. And the guys up here are doing fine. Didn't actually need to move the cavalry back. We've got an opening here, which we can fall that. No, you know what? We'll still go up here. And we'll fall down upon them from up here. And the regiments have been moving out here. And I think we're going to take this town hall as well. And then this unit will be stationed over here. Um, the fighting over here didn't actually go that well. The line regiment didn't do that well trying to get to try and cut these guys down. They are really skilled though. Skilled peasantry. I'll guess we'll order these guys to fix bayonet to make sure that we cut them down. And the line fire back and forth here isn't going too well either. 
Oh, that's because they're not looking at the right... They're not fighting the right r enemy. Back to this side. They're, uh... Having another go at uh, the pike wall. And they're going after the 7th regiment. Maybe this is actually more useful than the uh, pike wall, because now every pike is facing forward, rather than just the first line. I think we can swing these out further, and then have the cavalry move to the flank. And then once again, a massive amount of Ottoman uh, villagers have been slaughtered by our pikemen. But now the proper, like, whatever they are, levy or infantry or whatever they, this is, you'll have enough to f uh, set up for one cannon. The regiments over here are heavily beset by the enemy. So I'll have to have the cavalry come in and swing in and get rid of these. We'll tell the guns to continuously fire canisters straight forward onto the enemy. Did I gain? Yes, I did gain the house. Oh, but they're sending in the Basi Baruch to deal with them. Which is not that great. But hopefully... Ah, we won over here. And now when we're actually concentrating fire on these guys, they're getting cut to pieces. So once ready, we'll have these two join up here. With all... Oh, look at that. Look at all of them running at this point. You know what, boys? We have them. Reserves. Everyone. Everyone forward. Cannons will hold fire. Let's not shoot our own men. But I want everyone else... to get into this mess as the Ottoman army is retreating en masse. And we'll make sure to cut them down. All of them. Right. These guys were finally defeated so that these two can march up and hopefully aid here. It's not going too well for the guys inside the town hall. Not all of them have even gotten into the house at this point. There is some Basi Baruch over there. I think the cavalry is the one to deal with them. While the infantry can continue forward and just trample the Ottoman army as we continue across the field chasing down all of them. There are some that have rallied specifically on the right side which uh, I might want to send over the pikemen to deal with and then not to try and overextend ourselves. We're gonna try and halt. And take up firing positions. If we can. I'm ordering the pikemen to go over there. Oh, the enemy is firing canister this way. We do have one Ottoman unit that has attacked us. Town all lost. The Basi Baruch took that. 
I need pikemen over here. Cavalry is doing so so. We completely surrounded this one with pikemen cutting them down from one side. But I don't think my cavalry will hold here for too long. There are not that many left in that unit. Have the pikemen join in. Oh, the Basi Baruch are back. They're coming out of the house now, next to the church. The Azars are being sent away. The Basi Baruch is going to be a difficult nut to crack. All we'll do is we'll redraw these guys in a line like so. And then I'll detach the two regiments that are here. To start preparing firing for these guys. Oh, they're actually... Uh, these guys broke. We have overextended ourselves. Against the mighty Ottoman army. Let's try to get rid... Get rid of the cannon. And you will march exactly where you're set to march. Leave this house. Come join the rest. And then I think we'll try to just quickly fall back and regroup our forces over here. Cavalry has moved back. The general will move up. How many cannons do we still have operational? Quite a few. Damn, what a massacre this uh, pike unit did on the Ottomans. Within seconds they lost 300 men. Round shot and open fire. Basi Baruch are uh, claiming lives all over the place. Well, this was the line infantry I said forward to attack this unit. Didn't actually go that well. Guess you can stay behind as sort of a... M oh, one of my lines of foot. Somehow managed to end up all the way over here. Or was that a second? No, there's a third and last reinforcement unit. Right, these guys are reorganizing next to the cannons. As the massive Ottoman army is now approaching. I still have plenty of pikemen left. We'll check the states on the pikemen, they are tired. We can hide behind the cannons again and hope to recuperate. And once we're ready, we can do a final push and get rid of the Ottomans. I think the reinforcement troops from over here are doing quite well. We sent away the Basi Baruch and stuff. And so we got kind of a strong position in the flank of the Ottomans. You will march over here. What we'll do with this one is we'll get really close. As long line as possible. And over here they've... Oh, they actually charged us over here? Oh, it was a uh, Janissary unit. Which is causing that line infantry regiment actually to buckle under the pressure. I'll send in the cavalry to deal with them. We'll have the cannons switch to canister. Which I think will send them off. Right, and over here we get really good close fire down upon the Ottomans below. 
And so we kind of broken up the Ottoman camp. Which is nice. We got this one coming in to support as well. The militia, however. You know what? Back into the house. You're kind of useless out here. Claim the two houses. So we'll have some strong points on the battlefield. We did manage to uh, take care of those Janissaries and save the two regiments. But they're not at great strength at this point. Let's focus in on the big one. Canister ripping through these guys. Oh, they're making a charge. But against prepared line, they're getting shot down. Buildings yet again captured. We'll have the pikemen advance straight towards this one. As uh, the other lines have now faltered. Put some round shot on them. We broke the enemy over there, so the regiments can advance along the road. Killing any Ottoman they find along the way. Okay, these guys have broken as well. Continue to harass the Ottomans. And the pikemen will follow. Line infantry will follow. And have the general join in chase them down. You know what? To make s to make sure that we don't shoot any of our own, we'll tell the cannons to hold fire. This one is the one to kill, I believe, to win the battle. So we'll detach one of the pikemen to go that way. The cavalry and the general can turn from the right onto the target of the enemy. Keep at it. And I think the target is the thicker one. Break that one. And I think the two around it will falter. This one is kind of already faltering. And we'll ride through that one. To get... To get at the uh, second one behind it. Cavalry is passing through. The unit is wavering. What's this? Heroic death! What, he was the one to... The first one to die in that charge. <laughs> I haven't used him at all throughout the battle and then he's the first one to die. Just my luck. I thought that ch cavalry charge would be more devastating. Because the g I haven't used the general unit and they're pretty strong. Well, they should be pretty strong. Well, now they broke. So we'll join in, we'll smash these guys from the back as they're uh, being attacked from the front by the pikemen. Turn to face this one. Pikemen will charge over here. March forward, not try not to shoot our own men. Cavalry and everything will go for the last guy. Over there. And these guys getting cut to shit. And are now in full retreat. And we'll chase them down. Turn to face that last one. We got pikemen over here. Cutting these guys down. 
It's skilled pikemen, but they're tired. But I imagine the enemy is quite tired as well. And uh, they have no experience of battle compared to the pikemen, which have six chevrons. What's this? The enemy general died as well. I didn't even know he was still part of... Oh, he came back. The general, the general's bodyguard came back just to die in the battlefield, or die on the, uh, or just die. That's what, it, well, that's what we we're gonna say. He just came back to die. Pikemen are really useful against the Ottomans. It's a shame that I can only, for some re reason, it puts a limit on them, so I can only recruit six. Otherwise, I'd have tons of pikemen. We should coordinate actually, so we send the pikemen towards the Ottomans, rather using the rather than using them against the European powers. So this one's holding out quite a bit. You can see how we gained ground. We've killed all the Ottomans on this side, and slowly pushing these guys here towards the house wall. And there they're gone. And I do believe this means victory. Yes. We'll chase them down a bit. Devastating that we lost the general. But, uh... Empire generals don't really mean that much, do they? Make sure to cut these guys down. But there we have it! And we've seen them off, and... There's still quite a sizable force left of our own men. But as it is, I mean, I'm using... Um, what's it called? Brands submod to make these battles as bloody as possible. Right. Let's go back to the campaign map, shall we? And here we are looking at the results of the battle. Um, the enemy, of course, outnumbered us 2 to 1. Uh, we lost a surprisingly high amount of troops. 2,600, 700 men lost. Um, the enemy lost 6,000, however, so about twice as many as uh, we lost. Highest ki pikemen killed half, almost. Wait, how no, 600, so what, 25% of the enemy army was killed by one unit, a pike unit that killed 1,500 Ottomans. But no, I mean, that must have been the one that I, that I had on the right which had numerous uh, of these um, peasant Muslim mobs just charge straight into it. Fifteen. I think that's probably one of the highest I've ever seen in any of my Total War uh, campaigns or playthroughs. Fifteen hundred. That's kind of insane. For not, and it's not like a cannon shooting canister or anything. It's a pike unit that they literally had to. You know, stab 1,500 people. That means that, uh, I mean, every un every man in the unit killed about three men, but then again, they lost about half the unit, so maybe double that. So each man kind of killed like five or six enemies. But then probably first line is the one that kills the most. Damn, that's a lot. Uh, yes. Bye bye Ottomans, but bye bye our general as well. How much is it going to cost to revamp this unit? Seven thousand. Jeez. The Ottoman army is still alive after that. They still have quite a few thousand men, and they can bring up a few more. So it wasn't as decisive, but then again, it'd be pretty hard to chase down all of those guys. Um, there's a risk, of course, that this army now, like, just completely walks this way. But we'll hopefully be able to chase it down, and hopefully I can free up this army right here. And we've got an, we, you know what, we've got an extra general here. Dolka will be dispatched to take over that, so that I don't have to spend money to buy a new general. So Dolka will move over to take control of that. 
I don't even know if the general does that much for the for the army that he's fighting for. It's not like like Napoleon where it's this clear thing. Um, he gives two morale points in battle. He's only 25 actually. Hugo Dolka should take up command of this force. I am recruiting more troops. No, I am not actually. Uh, I'm getting quite a bit of income next turn. 8,000. So we will be able to replenish. I think it might. Oh yeah, and we got lances and stuff coming in. Some more cavalry ready to chase these down. Definitely need more cavalry just so that an opportunity like that when we probably had I want to say 3,000 of the Ottoman falling back and just have cavalry come sweeping away all of those guys. Thing is, the, the Ottoman units are so massive, 500 to 600 men in a single unit, that, I mean, it's almost impossible to kind of get that cavalry shock to send them away. Uh, and also, I just want to note here that you know, I, I was thinking, oh yes, we need to we need to be very, very about very about the fact that we need to convert populace from Catholic from Protestant to Catholic. Uh, it doesn't actually do that much. So this province is 50%. It gives one minus happiness for religious unrest, and then 50% of the prov province is following another religion. Then we go to Berlin, which is even worse. 95 is Protestant. Um, meaning only 4.3 is following the state religion. And that only gives two religious unrest. Um, it could be the decentralized nation, um, the decentralized state of Poland, the fact that the nobles have um, a higher degree of, um, you know, it's not as centralized. So maybe that's why they get away with it. But yeah. Anyways, the continuation on this plan is really, I mean, the thing is, I had, I have a plan against, I had a plan against Prussia. Because Prussia, I, I knew they were going to attack me. So I had kind of built up there. But we kind of, we, this is so early in the campaign that I, I that, I mean, none of the nation, none of these wars that, uh, has been started by me, so I don't have r really prepared campaigns uh, for them, like sending my army so and so. It's more like putting out fires right now and uh, making sure that we're strong enough to weather any attack. I really don't want the Austrians to join in, so maybe, maybe we can get the um, Austrians to join in against. The Ottomans. That way, there would be uh, we get we get some extra happiness points here because we would be facing the same enemy um, and stuff like that. Definitely, also need more trade partners. That's only going to be possible with opening up more trade routes through uh, ports that will open up, but. That means uh, investing in uh, industry technology, especially on farms, to increase populace, to actually populate the harbor villages. But with that said, we're going to end it right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!